Verse 7, Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves coverings. Take a look at this. They ate the fruit, both of them ate it. After they had eaten it, their eyes were indeed opened. Their eyes were opened, but they experienced the opposite of what they had expected. Before this, Satan had said that their eyes would be opened to be like God's. But it was actually quite the opposite. They fell headlong. Their eyes were opened. And what did they discover? Oh no, I am naked. I am completely naked. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, I am scared. This is what they discovered. Let me ask you something. Even if it isn't all the time, do you sometimes feel troubled in your conscience? And do you sometimes feel ashamed? This means you are naked. Sometimes, you have a guilty conscience, don't you? This is manifested as shame and anxiousness and fear. You are afraid and anxious. This demonstrates that your spirit is naked. Your heart can probably confirm this. So, they sewed some fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. These fig leaves represent religion. Why is religion like this? Religious acts are all man's attempt to cover up his fear, his anxiety, his terror, and the guilt in his conscience. All religions are man's efforts to cover up his weaknesses and somehow resolve his faults. All these efforts are religion. This is what is represented by Adam and Eve, sewing fig leaves together and making coverings for themselves. This is why religion came into being. The word religion comes from the Latin word religio. And one definition of this word is to bind, meaning to restrict or restrain. Religion restrains a person's conscience. A person who has no religion just lives as he pleases. A person who has a religion always feels uneasy. If he reaches out this way, it's a sin. And if he reaches out this way, it's a sin. Religion always puts restraints on people's lives. Religion may actually be necessary to keep order in the society of man today. If people truly lead religious lives, then order is established in this world to a certain extent. But religion can't bring true happiness to a person's heart. Why is that? Religion always restrains a person. It always confines. It always suppresses. In that case, what is true Christianity? It frees a person from that restraint. The conscience needs to find true liberation for a person to be happy. This is why Jesus said, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. This is being born again. When a person comes to realize the truth, his conscience is completely freed and he has true happiness. The problem with Christianity in general today is, how shall I put this? People are completely ignorant of this matter. Christianity has become a religion. Let me ask you a question. Of all the people who believe in some religion or other, who are the people who weep the most? Who are those who cry the most? Don't you think it's the people who believe in Jesus? They weep every morning. They weep all night. They stay up all night weeping. They are always weeping. Of course, some tears are beneficial. But they weep because there is something they don't know. They do this because they don't know the truth. In my case too, before I experienced being born again, there were very few days when I didn't weep. There was a time when I just wept for three days without eating or sleeping. That was religion. Let me ask you something. Suppose you have a child and when he has grown a little, he just cries all the time wherever he is. When his parents try to sleep at night, the child comes and cries beside their bed. They wake up and ask him, Why are you crying? Daddy, I've done something wrong. It's alright, it's alright. Go back to bed and sleep. Then the next morning he comes again, weeping. What are you crying again for? Yesterday you told me it was alright, but I still don't feel good about it. What can I do? I just keep crying. And he weeps again. He keeps weeping all the time. The parents would just love that, wouldn't they? 
if a child was always crying morning and night, his parents would be very worried about him and wonder what would become of him. If people are like that, do you think God likes it when people are always crying all the time? Does God like to hear people crying? Is that what He's like? There is something that people don't know. The Bible says that the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So people need to go one level beyond weeping. If it ends with weeping, that's a huge problem. You need to go one level beyond that. You need to go to the next level. Then, you'll be able to live in true peace and joy. So then, here they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. Let's read verse 8 now. Verse 8. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. When they heard the sound of God, they ran and hid in the shadow of the trees. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? Verse 10. So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. This is really amazing. Let me ask you a question. Were Adam and Eve wearing something or weren't they? They had made themselves coverings with fig leaves and were wearing them. They were wearing them. But when they heard the voice of God, Adam said, I was afraid because I was naked. What does this mean? It means that what they were wearing was useless before God. It is saying that man's ethics, morals, and religion aren't able to resolve man's problem when he later stands before God. This is where the problem lies. Do you know what the devil's goal was? The devil's goal was to make Adam and Eve know that they were naked. That was his goal. Why is that? When God told Adam to have dominion over the earth and keep it, Adam didn't know that he was naked. When he didn't know he was naked, he wasn't afraid. He didn't feel guilty and he had strength. When he discovered he was naked, his strength just left him. He felt uneasy and he felt ashamed. And so, he lost the power to be able to rule. This is the problem. The devil's aim was to let them know they were naked because once they realized this fact, they would lose all their strength. They would lose the power to be able to have dominion and their consciences would be full of shame. They would feel uneasy and they would tremble with fear. That is death. Death. Let me ask you a question. Don't you sometimes feel uneasy, even though you don't exactly know why? Don't you sometimes feel guilty, shameful, and troubled in your conscience? You feel anxious for no particular reason and afraid without knowing why. Why is that? It means that your spirit is naked. You have lost the capability to be responsible for your own fate. This is why you aren't able to rule over the circumstances surrounding you. Even the smallest of incidents leaves you feeling uneasy, irritated, distressed, and worried. This is a sign that you have completely lost your strength. The devil has taken it away.